In today's video, I'm going to be going over my daily manifesting routine that has been very effective for me and it's super simple. So you can use some of my tips and the things that I do in order to create your own daily manifesting routine so you can manifest anything that you want. So if you want to hear how I put together my day with all of my manifesting techniques, then keep watching the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anna Rebecca. I'm here with the intention to help you break through your limiting beliefs, doubts, and fears so you can own your power and manifest the life that you love living every single day. Together, we explore Explore this mindset mastery by discussing things like law of attraction, manifestation, lifestyle, wellness, and travel. If you want to work together one-on-one -on -one to figure out where exactly your limiting beliefs or blocks might be, we can work together. I will leave information on that in the description box down below. Before we jump into the video, I want to share that I am doing a free giveaway of my 30-day mindset mastery book. It is absolutely amazing. It is the exact framework that I use to get into the mindset that I have to manifest a lot of really amazing things in my life. In order to get the free book, all you need to do is just be a subscriber to this channel, leave a comment down below on this video or any of my recent videos, and make sure that you leave your Instagram handle on the comment so I can DM you the code to get a free copy of the book. In my previous videos, I've been talking about manifesting techniques that work that you can implement in your daily routine to manifest the things that you want. And I know some people have been asking me, well, what is your manifesting routine? How do you use these? When do you use these kind of techniques? So I thought I'd share with you just my daily manifesting routine so that you can see how I organize my day based on the techniques that I like to use. And it's really easy. I actually don't even really like think about it. It kind of just feels like second nature now because it's so ingrained. And it's it's efficient because a lot of the things that I have put on my list to manifest have ended up coming true or in the process of coming true. So I think it's pretty effective. So without further ado, I will jump right into talking about my routine. To tell you about my routine, I'm actually going to start at the nighttime part of it because for me that's really where it starts. So when it comes to my manifesting routine, it starts when I am getting ready to go to bed. So my nighttime routine, which I might do a video about at some point, it starts out with usually taking a shower. I like to take a shower at night. It just feels really good and it like helps just to calm me down and relax me to get ready for bed. So while I'm in the shower, I generally like to put on some kind of like positive sort of content. So whether that is like YouTube videos, podcasts, audiobooks, anything like that, that have to do with mindset, manifesting, law of attraction, all these kind of things. I like to listen to that while I'm in the shower because it just kind of starts to like get my brain cooking and thinking about all those things and putting me into this more positive, productive direction. So I'll generally listen to that while I'm in the shower, get out of the shower, start to do my skincare routine, everything, and I still have everything going. So once I finish with that, I'll come into my bedroom and I will get out my scripting journal. And if you don't know what scripting is or how you should script, I will link the video up here about my scripting routine. And scripting has been so amazing for me. It has been such a key thing for me to manifest the things that I want into my life. Uh, highly recommend it. It is amazing. I personally like doing my scripting at nighttime because it just like gets me into this really good vibe and like thinking about things that I want to manifest right before I go to bed. So it really gets everything cooking in my subconscious and whatnot. So I like to do my scripting at night. Again, make sure that you watch that video about scripting. I'll also leave a link in the description box down below. If you're not sure what to do for scripting or how to start incorporating that, make sure to watch that video. So I'll get my journal out, start to do my scripting entry. And for this, like I had said in that video, I normally do a full page, but sometimes if I'm really lazy, I'll just do like a couple of paragraphs or half a page. Or sometimes if I'm on the opposite end of the spectrum and I'm feeling really inspired, then I'll just go until it feels good. So yeah, so I will get the scripting done. I'll put it away. And by this point, my phone is usually away on do not disturb. Yes, I am one of those people who sleeps with my phone on do not disturb because I need my sleep. So at this point, once I'm done with my scripting, I'm ready to go to sleep. So I put my journal away, I lay in bed. And then from here, this is pretty much when I start to do my visualization. So as I'm drifting off into sleeping, I start to visualize and think about the things that I want to manifest. So whether that is relationship, career, money, love, like anything, I start to think about those things and imagine myself as the version of me who already has those things. So again, that is a great technique into getting those thoughts 
cooking into your subconscious mind because the things that manifest are the beliefs, the thoughts, and the feelings that are in your subconscious mind that are going to project forward and that's what you're going to see in your reality. So I like to do this right before I go to sleep to really just get my brain marinating on all of those thoughts and those things that feel really good. For me personally, I think that the things that you think about before you go to sleep are oftentimes the things that you are going to wake up with. So if you go to bed with these positive, productive, like good, juicy feeling things, you're most likely going to wake up and pick up right where you left off. So that for me is really important to make sure that I'm getting my scripting in, my visualizing in right before I go to sleep. This is also a term that's used in the law of attraction community called SATS, which is called state akin to sleep. And so that's essentially what it is. You get yourself into this sort of dream-like, you know, almost sleeping sort of state and start to visualize and think about these things that you want to manifest. One other thing that I forgot to mention that I do usually do before I go to sleep, once I'm done doing my routine in my bathroom, getting ready for bed, and I do come back into my bedroom, I'll take a look at my vision board or just something that I have visually that it will remind me of all of the things that are on my list that I want to manifest, my goals, the things that I want to accomplish. Because again, that really starts to get the visual momentum going in my head. So that pretty much wraps up my evening time routine. So I will go to sleep, rest peacefully, preferably for at least eight hours. And then I will wake up the next morning and I will start my morning routine. With my morning routine, this is something that I do try to do as much as possible. I would say I probably do it like five out of the seven days of the week, if possible. I tried to do it all seven, but you know, sometimes circumstances don't allow. So my morning routine is super easy and quick. All I do is I wake up, I will take out my journal and I start to do just a quick little entry of things that I'm grateful for. So for me, starting off the day, writing out a gratitude list helps me to really set the tone of my day, think about the things that I'm grateful for and really take a moment to like feel into that gratitude, that's the most important. It's like I've said in other videos, making gratitude a priority and really feeling into the feeling of gratitude is going to amp up your vibration so that it allows the universe to bring more of what you are grateful for into your life. I'll link a video up here that goes into more depth about that, but really making sure that you are like feeling into the things that you're grateful for. So depending on how quickly I need to get up, I will either do like a full page on this and it'll vary on the things that I write that I'm grateful for. So some of the things are past, some are present and some are future. I find that for me, it really just, again, starts to like set the tone for the day, gets me in that mode of feeling grateful for the things that I have, the things that I'm going to have, the things that I have already had, everything. It's just a really great way to like set that pace for the day. The other thing that I do in addition to writing a quick little gratitude list is writing out a couple of affirmations that I want to really focus on and use for the day. So a lot of times I will wake up and I will already know what I'm about to be faced with or maybe what I might be struggling with or what I want to really overcome or master and I will just take that and create some affirmations based on whatever it is that I want to bring forth. So I'll have my little gratitude list, my affirmation list and I put my journal away and go on with the rest of my day. The next thing I do from here is have a meditation ready. So I'll either do a guided meditation or I'll just set a timer on my phone to do my own meditation. And I usually like to do this for like 15 to 20 minutes. And for me, meditation serves two purposes. One is for me to practice focus. The second purpose is for me to just sort of like get lost into my visualizations and get lost into dreaming about all of these things and just getting lost in these things that I wish to bring forth into my life. So I will use that 15 to 20 minutes to really just sit there and either focus or visualize. Once I'm done with those two things, I'll usually just go about the rest of my day with the rest of my daily routine. And usually I'll have like at least one more look at my vision board or something else. I'll leave a link up here about vision boards and how they help me manifest a lot of things. I just love the vision board because it's an expression of my creativity and it helps me again to remind me of the things that I want. So it just really helps me to kind of like look at something and be like, okay, yes, like that's the goal. That's what I'm going for. It's almost like a sports player and you have the goalpost, you know, and you're looking at the goalpost and you know that that's where you have to shoot the ball and that's where the ball has to go in. Like that's for me what a vision board is. It's really just a visual goalpost of the things that I I'm shooting for. As for the rest of the day for my manifesting routine, 
I am very, very strict on myself with my mental diet and staying on top of the thoughts that are going through my head. I'll put a link up here on the video that I did on mental diet because it is literally the only manifesting technique that you need in your life to manifest anything. You can do all these other techniques that I'm talking about, but if you do not have your mental diet on point, you're not gonna get any of the things that you want. You're not gonna get any things that you script about. You're not gonna get any things that you visualize. You need to have your mental diet on point in order to get the things that you want. So make sure to watch that video. It's very, very important. So for me, I basically just go about my day and I make sure to really stay cautious of the thoughts that I'm thinking, really staying on top of the things that are going in my head, making sure that anytime anything even remotely unproductive or negative starts to pop in, I stop it and replace it with the more positive or productive thing. That is the biggest key here. I'm not over here saying that you have to be totally positive, positive, positive all the time. That's not the case. But if you want to manifest, you do need to always be conscious of your thoughts and making sure that you are replacing any unproductive thought with the more positive or productive version of that if you truly want to manifest these things into your life. If you don't, then that's fine. Go about your life as you do. But for me, I was sick and tired of living a life where I was getting crap results that I didn't care for. So once I started doing this, it totally changed my life. So make sure that you stay on top of your mental diet. The other thing I do throughout the day is just to make sure that anytime I can, just throw in a little bit of gratitude. Like something happens, I see something when I'm walking down the street or someone says something nice to me or I think about a really lovely memory or something like that. Just express gratitude for that. Always, always expressing gratitude. It's like we said in previous videos, the more that you're expressing gratitude, the more that you are raising your vibration and essentially telling the universe that your receiving channel is open and ready to receive gifts and abundance. So make sure that you are always practicing as much gratitude as you possibly can. I'll also make sure to go through and mentally repeat some of those affirmations that I wrote in my journal from the morning time. Just anything simple that pops into my mind, any kind of affirmation that is helping to propel me forward, that is helping me to push through a limiting belief or a doubt or anything like that, I make sure to put all of those things on repeat. When I was first starting my mental diet, that was like, everything, all of my affirmations were just repeat, repeat, repeat. And once you start to do that, your brain starts to actually like believe these things that you're saying. So it's important to stay on top of that because that is exactly how you are going to overcome all of these subconscious blocks that are getting in the way of you having the things that you want. So that pretty much wraps up my daily manifesting routine. Like I said, it's really easy, very simple, effective. It works because I've manifested a lot of the things that I wanted in my life as well as starting to see the things unfold that I intend on bringing in. So feel free to take some of the tips and things that I mentioned in my daily routine, make your own daily routine. I'm curious to know if any of you have any manifesting routine tips, let me know in the comments down below. If you feel like something works particularly well for you or you wanna share it with somebody else, please let me know in the comments, I'd love to read those. If you want some more tips and resources on how you can use law of attraction or manifestation, I've got a couple of things for you. The first is that I am giving out a free copy of my 30 day mindset mastery to anyone who is a subscriber to my channel all you have to do is subscribe to my channel leave a comment down on this video here and then when you leave a comment make sure that you include your Instagram handle so that I can DM you the code to get the free book the second thing I have for you is my free resource library that is available to all of my subscribers I will leave a link in the description for that down below and the third if you want to work with me one on ones figure out where exactly your limiting beliefs and blocks might be we can work together I will leave that information in the link below as well thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please feel free to like it, comment down below, or share it with somebody 